G'day folks, it's Chris Nitzo here from Oz Cyclone Chasers, just giving you a quick update on where the rain will fall over the next 24 to 36 hours with regards to this big system coming through. So what we're looking at here is the European model, the ECMWF, which is widely renowned for its precipitation forecasting. Uh, it tends to do a lot better than most of the others. A lot of the others that you'll see are the GFS, and uh, also the Access Regional model does pretty well with uh, with rainfall accumulations but let's take a look at this model here this is between 4 and 7 p.m this afternoon so we can see where the rain is expected to fall not too much along the coastline uh, most of it's going to fall inland here around the long reach area further to the south um, as we move further south towards isisford or Gathala, um, and further to the northwest out here through the uh, central western districts and extending even into the northwestern districts around Mount Isa and just to the south there towards Bullia. So you've got a fairly widespread rain situation in this afternoon. Now some of these thunderstorms will be severe uh, but the good news is here that uh, because we've had so much cloud cover in this area the potential for severity of those storms uh, is quite diminished. However there is still a very robust uh, upper level atmosphere here so any storms that do happen in this time frame could be quite severe. As we move on now to 7 to 10 p.m., so let's take a look at how the pattern changes. You can see this slight eastward shift, and you'll see this over the next few hours overnight as well. You can also see an increase in shower activity along the southeast Queensland coast, central coast with Sundays, and the north tropical coast region. So this is between 7 and 10 p.m. tonight. Once again, still looking at some fairly widespread falls inland. Between 10 and 1, p 1 a.m., so this is around the midnight time frame, you can start to see these heavier rainfall areas developing in the North Queensland region. Um, in anticipation of this upper level trough, we've got a northerly airstream here, very moist northerly airstream, and the start of that uplift is occurring up here to the north of Townsville, between Townsville and Cairns, uh, and then also the main rain band in through the inland parts, extending, starting to extend further and further east. Along the coastline, still only isolated uh, and a fairly low-grade showers uh, in that area. Between 1 and 4, we certainly start to see this main rain band pushing eastwards. You can see this stuff around northern Queensland land thickening up and so once again we've got some moderate to heavy falls now uh, developing up here in the north uh, northern north tropical coast and tablelands district particularly inland in the southern parts of that district and the herbert and lower burdekin now starting to fire up but that's only the start of it so between 4 and 7 a.m you can start to see some really heavy falls developing here in the herbert lower burdekin region central coast with sundays you can also see some uh, lighter falls further inland and the main rain band now here to the south pushing east fairly rapidly you can see it now approaching the darling downs district between 4 and 7 a.m in the morning once again Again, showers along the coast starting to thicken up here in the southeast as well. Between 7 and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, you can see the main rain band now links up with the North Queensland rain band, and they form one very intense rain band across the inland areas here between 7 and 10 a.m. in the morning. And you can see the heavier rain extending all the way from around about Ingham southwards through the inland districts of the central coast and with Sundays, um, and as well as the coastal districts here. So this is really our focus of, uh, of attention over the next uh, 24 hours at least um, as this main rain band links up with the North Queensland rain band that develops overnight tonight. As we move on to uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow, you can see the heaviest rainfall now located central coast with Sundays extending southwards along that line of the trough. Uh, and you can also see some re remnant rain heading back in through the north northern goldfields up Upper Flinders and the Herbert Lower Burdekin District. Once again, Cairns a little bit too far north. Townsville looks to be in the thick of it, but Mackay definitely looking to be in the thick of it. We're seeing uh, those showers thickening up here across the southeast corner of Queensland. Nothing overly heavy for them yet until the main rain band pushes through um, around about mid-afternoon for them. But you can see this secondary area of rain now starts to thicken up across the Townsville area or just inland of Townsville. Um, and once again, you've got this fa fairly heavy area here around Mackay and moderate to heavy falls now developing across the Darling Downs, pushing eastwards towards the southeast Queensland coastline between 1 and 4. Between 4 and 7 in the afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, you've got this main area of rain here between Toowoomba, the Gold Coast, and extending north to Harvey Bay. You've got a secondary main area of rain up here around the Mackay to Townsville area. Um, so the, the, the initial, so they're basically up here in north Queensland, you'll get an initial 
push through of the heavier rain and then you'll get another bout of moderate to heavy rain back in the back end of the afternoon as well which is the back end one we weren't expecting um, we were expecting to see the early one but not the back end one as we go to 7 to 10 p.m you can see moderate to heavy falls now along the gold coast the brisbane cbd area extending north to harvey bay and still moderate to heavy falls around Mackay. things starting to fine up around the townsville area well not fine up but uh, the the rain will decrease in that area as we go between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., the main rain band starts to push off the coast now, uh, and we've got some remnant shower activity in through the inland, possibly some remnant uh, upper-level-based thunderstorm activity further to the west as well uh, because of some very cold upper-level air. As we go to 4 a.m. tomorrow, you can see main rain band off. Now we're, all we're left with is drizzly, patchy rain uh, across the uh, coastal regions. And once again, because we've got such very cold air in the upper levels, the possibility of some elevated thunderstorms across the south. As we go to 7 a.m., 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. On, on Monday, uh, we can see here everything is starting to fine up except for this area around the south, uh, the, the southern coast and the border ranges. Um, and then as we go to 10 a.m., you can see fairly fine and dry conditions now pushing through most of the state. So, folks, that's it in a nutshell where the rain's going to fall over the next 24 hours. So, really, the peak times, if you live, let's say, the, the main areas, Cairns, there will, there will be no peak time. Townsville, the peak time for you uh, looks to be around that 4 a.m. in the morning. Things will really kick off. Um, and then continuing through to 7. But then really around that 7 to 10 a.m., so mid-morning, is when that first bout of heavy rain pushes through. And then possibly another bout of moderate to heavy rain um, in the afternoon and evening. Mackay, really, it doesn't stop for you. Once it kicks off um, around about 7 to 10 a.m. in the morning, um, it, there's still going to be moderate to heavy falls through into the mid to late afternoon period um, and then into even the evening period. So by 1 a.m., things finish up for you. Rocky, uh, at this stage we're not expecting anything overly heavy for rocky but we are looking at some moderate falls of rain pushing through rocky from around about 1 p.m in the afternoon um, and extending through to four and maybe even a second bout in the overnight hours of Sunday into Monday. As we move further to the south, uh, that time frame just in increases a little. So if you're looking at Brisbane, we're probably not looking at the moderate falls of rain hitting you until about 4 to 7 p.m. Um, and then they'll continue through into around about 10 p.m., maybe 11 or 12 p.m. at night. So uh, that's, uh, that's, ex that's the expectation in the major areas, but you can, you can interpolate from the maps that I've shown you uh, where that rain band is expected to pass through your location. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, we'll, we'll see how things are going in the morning tomorrow. And because that rain band should be well and truly kicking in then across Queensland's coastal regions, uh, we'll, uh, we'll post another update uh, around about uh, 11 or 12 o'clock in the uh, morning tomorrow.